Hey guys, Aaron here with For the Love of Tech, and I absolutely love technology. I don't know any other way to put it to you. That's why I called my channel For the Love of Tech. One of the techs I absolutely adore from last year, because we're still pretty early in 2019, is my Series 4 Apple smartwatch. That is absolutely right. I'm a huge Android fan, and I usually would wear an Apple Watch and an Android Watch, one on each wrist. But I'm so satisfied with my Apple Watch Series 4 that I haven't even had the desire to put my Android Watch back on. When Apple announced the EKG, feature in the Apple Watch, it took the crowd by storm. Everybody had to have this, but it wasn't available at launch. Now it's out and it's ready. And I've been dying to set mine up. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to set up our Apple Watch EKG in the event you're thinking about getting one and you're like, hey, how does that thing work? Now you're going to get to see it in action. This is the Apple Watch with the black Milanese loop, which I absolutely love. The rose gold stainless steel. This is the first year I didn't go all out and get the most expensive Apple Watch out there or one of them. And I was just really happy with the rose gold, mainly because that's what was available. So here it is from the very beginning. We're going to go ahead and allow this. And let's see if we can get the EKG portion of this set up and ready to go. All right, guys, here it is. We're going to go ahead and get this thing set up. We're going to set up our EKG. Set up the EKG. Required to put in the birthday. All right, guys, you don't need to know how old I am. I'm not telling. I'm 25, if anybody asks. All right, so there we go. How does the ECG work? ECG records an electrocardiogram, also called ECG or EKG, which represents the electrical pulses that makes your heart beat. The app checks these pulses to get the heart rate and see if the upper and lower chambers of your heart are in rhythm. If they're not, out, if they're out of rhythm, that's atrial fibrillation. Now, my husband is absolutely going to love this because he actually has had a heart issue or two in his life. So here is sinus rhythm, atrial fibrillation, also known as AFib, low or high heart rate, and inconclusive. Which probably means you don't know what the answer is. So let's go ahead and hit continue. So it's important to know it cannot detect a heart attack. It cannot detect blood clots or stroke. It cannot detect other heart-related conditions. If you're not feeling well, you should call your doctor. Remember, guys, this isn't 100%. It's a quick little, uh, hey, am I uh, alive or dead, or is my heart getting ready to explode type of uh, measurement, but it's not. I don't know if you would call this medical equipment, but I don't know if I would rely solely on this to make sure that my heart is going good. All right, record an ECG typically takes 30 seconds. First, open the ECG app on your Apple Watch. Rest your arms on a table or in a lap and hold your finger on the digital crown. What? Hold my finger, let me find my apps. Hold my finger on the digital crown. So I guess there's an ECG. Oh, look, it's right there. An ECG app. It sure is. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, so it says rest it on the table. Here we go. And put your hand on this. Try not to move your arm. It doesn't say don't, don't talk, so look at this. This is insane. My finger is on my digital crown and magic is happening as we speak. This is the Apple Watch ECG. This is, this is pretty cool. So it's giving me a countdown. So at least I know how much longer I have to go, which is pretty sweet. So there we go. Sinus rhythm. My uh, beats per minute, 78. It's average. This ECG does not show signs of atrial fibrillation. Apple Watch cannot check for signs of a heart attack. So it's like if you're not feeling well, you can add a little bit of symptoms there, 
or if you're done, you can just hit, hey, I'm done. Hold your, oh, it wants to do it again. Okay, let's give it 30 seconds and see. So look at this, my health data immediately came right over. We've got the one I took, one back to back, when I was at 78, the other I was at 77. So I think I'm good to say that I am not in atrial fibrillation at the moment. How amazing is this for everybody who has an Apple Watch Series 4? It can actually not only help detect falls, it can help detect if your heart isn't working correctly. This is amazing. The fact that Apple is looking ahead and saying, hey, we're going to take this a step further. We're going to go a step further beyond checking your heart rate. We're actually going to check the electrical current going through your heart to see if whether or not you're in atrial fibrillation. For anyone who might have a heart condition, this is huge. This can give you relief. If you're worried that there's something going on, maybe you got a little bit of anxiety, maybe you got a little bit of gas. I don't know. But you're worried something's not right. You just go ahead, bloop, 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 bloop. There you go, easy peasy. You know if you're okay or not within 30 seconds. That is what I call peace of mind. That is also priceless. You can't put a price tag on peace of mind, but if you were going to, it's the cost of an Apple Watch Series 4. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I always appreciate it. For the love of tech is getting ready to stir up the dust and do another giveaway. So keep your ear to the ground and keep your eyeballs on your newsfeed to see when we're gonna make the official announcement. What I can tell you right now is there's a OnePlus 6T that I'm gonna give away that has the in the screen fingerprint sensor. We're also gonna give away a Google Home Mini and probably some other little things that I collect along the way. If you wanna go ahead and get a jump start on your entries to the giveaway let me get a roman numeral 7086 then dash and tell me what you think about this ecg ekg apple watch feature then take this video right here share it on all your social medias take a screenshot multiple screenshots one email and send them to contact me at for the love of tech.com that's right the number for the love of tech.com and i will give you an additional five entries to the giveaway per social media share that you do so don't forget get your roman numeral entries get your social media shares and keep your eye out for a gleam link coming to you very soon for the love of tech and namaste